Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I have another book review for you. It is Living Druidry by Emma Russell Orr. This author is fairly prolific and has quite a few titles on Druidry. This was the first one that I had read of hers, although I had read bits and pieces of them, uh, kind of as I was looking at other books and where she's quoted online. So I was familiar generally with the tone of the author. But it was quite exciting to get into this book, mainly because it is one of those books on Druidry that isn't solely focused on the newbie. I would say this book is geared more towards the intermediate to advanced, not because what's talked about in the book is really difficult or high flutant, but really because it calls the reader to critically evaluate their own path, their own choices, and to think of the world and what is what they're consuming in this book on a higher level than the typical beginner book does. I mean, is the author doesn't assume the reader is stupid. In fact, the author assumes that the reader is making significant changes in their life and that they are drawn to this work because they're looking for ways to really make an impactful difference in their path and in their life, which I so appreciate. This book is set up pretty simply. There are nine chapters and an index at the end. The chapters are told mostly like a story, not so much educational or textbook, but from the personal experience and thoughts of the author. Chapters range from the nature of Druidry, a priest alone, to powers of nature, god, sun, tree, and dewdrop, letting go, drums, drugs and screaming, change, magic, and the impossible. Hidden amongst the pages are different excerpts of the author's own personal meditation, transcendental experience. There are also excerpts that describe what the author experiences or thinks when carrying out different priestly duties that they associate with their druid practice. It's really powerful to read someone show so much of their practice and be so open about the glorious highs and the lows that can come through that personal practice. Generally, the author's tone and writing is gorgeous and flows effortlessly. You really enjoy reading the even more educational parts of the book because it's just so perfectly put together. There were some aspects of the book that were more of a stretch for my personal path and aren't necessarily things that I'm going to incorporate, but it's really wonderful to have that information presented and give me something to think about. I might come back at a later date and kind of incorporate some of those ideas or experiment with them, but for the most part, I really resonated with a lot of the book and loved reading about the author's personal experience. It's in some ways a hard book to describe because it's so personal to the author and yet so artfully written that it's in a different class than a typical beginner book. So if you are on a pagan path or involved in nature or spirituality and you're looking for something beyond the beginner and can inspire you and really make you think about things in a different way, I would highly recommend this book. It's definitely geared towards those of a wild soul and those who really want to get muddy and connect to the earth and all of its raw richness. In the comments below, I'd love to hear if anyone else has read anything by Emma Russell Orr, and if you have, what book of hers should I read next? Also, last month on Pagan Perspective, my substitute video was kind of a music mashup, and I think it turned out pretty well. So there's a link in the description to that video and that channel. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do. If you like getting book reviews and hearing about Druidry and other kind of esoteric things in my life, please subscribe, and I will catch you later. Have a great week, and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.